and I'm going to talk about some other thing now because I've already talked about that movie. I think I should talk about what was my experience at Unacademy CTWT interview. Okay, so uh, there was a seminar, Bangalore seminar, at the same day, but I'm not going to talk about that now. Maybe in some other vlog, I'm going to talk about that. Uh, let's talk about that because there's a lot of things that you might not be knowing about what happened behind the scenes in that interview i'm sure that a lot of people and i'm sure that a lot of you i think all of you have watched that interview by now but just a little bit of inside what happened behind so somewhere around uh, 10 a.m they sent a cap for me to reach a location right and that location was innovate a lot of you guys might have heard of that it is basically a co-working center place and you pay some money you sit over there and work for some time so it was that place and they they book it this is how an academy runs the city wt shows that they book different co-working zones and they do photography for two or three hours and they go and edit it and publish it right on that youtube channel so they brought me somewhere at innovate it was near uh, what was that place mm, madiwala yes near madiwala opposite to starbucks as the place so the interview basically in the beginning uh, one guy i forget i'm forgetting his name the girl's name i remember not because she's a girl but because uh, she took my interview mamta right and both of them uh, in front of me they were sitting and they were asking what kind of questions uh, should we ask and i said that listen you can ask any personal question to me i have zero problems with that but definitely BRC and ISRO both are research based organizations so both are very sensitive do not ask me any questions from that of the work culture and all that what projects are going and all so don't ask questions from that they said okay um, and then I asked do you want the interview to be in English or Hindi and they said that Hindi then I said that see the South Indian population will not be able to understand Hindi so will you be able to add subtitles and they said that yes I will try to add subtitles which obviously they did not but it's okay then uh, they, they asked like these are the questions I'm going to talk about your examinations the examinations that you cracked ISRO interview, BS, BRC interview, the scheme of these examination. Basically, their aim remains the same: that educate people about the examination and the pattern of examination and how you want to prepare. And a little bit about the story of whoever is the person who has been interviewed. So uh, they said, okay, and uh, they said that it is going to go in a general, unscripted manner. We are just going to ask questions, and whatever question we think, you can start speaking about that and try to answer those. So that happened and then we got inside, it was kind of like a cafe and they set cameras up and they have a very good team and very professional people. They had three cameras, one focusing to both of us, like in front of me, basically side, but uh, covering both of us. Another one was focused on me and another one was focused on Mamta. Now this Mamta is, you will not see her taking a lot of interviews. I asked her, she said that she has taken till now two or three interviews. Basically Fiona does this job and once or twice I think Prajwal has also done. But she was new and she was a little bit nervous. I could completely understand because <laughs> it's her job, it's not my job so she has to perform well. But she was okay, she did well. And then we started, she gave the basic introduction of this is uh, chamomile tea with toppers and initiative with an academy and all that. And she took a couple of takes for that. And then uh, she, what was the first question? Uh, introduce yourself, what examinations have you cracked? And these were the things. So interview went well, basically Unacademy people are very very cool and I really like this thing about them because they are, Unacademy is run by young people, okay, and that is very nice, it is very easy to interact with young people and our mentalities match a lot and those people are also running a YouTube channel and I'm also running, so I knew what they were wanting and uh, I knew what kind of video they wanted to produce. So they, they told me that, see, uh, we want the students to get proper answers. I said, listen, I understand the crowd of uh, students preparing for competitive examination. I'm going to answer questions that they want to listen to and they are expecting. So don't worry about that. And everything was cool. And the interview went. 
interview itself was very nice listen it was not like i was very confident okay that in that video a lot of people commented down below that i am looking very very confident and i was looking very very confident but from inside everybody is scared and i'll tell you why listen that unacademy platform is a humongous platform all right like you see youtube uh, ads almost in every second video you will see an ad by unacademy and they are really running it and they are putting a lot of investment into these ads and ctwt and all that and it is a booming startup and it's not a startup that much now it is a full monetized company right but yes they are, it is a big platform that's what i'm saying and my video over there has already reached 160000 views right and that's huge imagine 160000 people standing in front of you and everybody has watched your video and my video video on my channel my big channel talk 4712 the biggest video would be somewhere around 70000 views 70 to 80000 views so see that was something like a big platform and i was expecting that a lot more people are going to watch me a lot of people are going to gravitate towards my channel because of that video and that brings pressure that how will you perform in that interview are you going to get very nervous and start speaking shit that that fear is always over there and it is the me first time appearing in someone else's channel and that is a big deal because in my channel if i fuck up i'm going to edit it out cut it out right in their channel it's up to them they want to show it they're going to show it and i have zero control over that they are not even to going they are not even going to show me the cut out before they publish and the questions itself is going to be a surprise for me what are the questions they are going to ask maybe some question i am uncomfortable answering so it will be very very difficult right it is an open media and i'm opening myself into that so it brings a lot of fear but i'm an open person like i make vlogs and everything about me is open i have nothing to hide i knew about that and uh, so sorry i think light is out i think we can work for okay it's back now so i had less fear about those things but still everybody is nervous man everybody like someone is taking your interview and three cameras are in front of you it is always a nerve wracking experience but i've talked a lot about confidence i've talked a lot about personality and it is my personal favorite topic i like to invest a lot of time in improving my personality improving my confidence and honestly i've seen a lot of ctwt talks and I think I was probably the best speaker over there a person who specializes on speaking apart from his technical interests I like to speak a lot I like to improve the way I speak I interact and I like to improve my personality and I think that I was able to show that over there well honestly I was able to outperform myself that is what I said that day that the videos that I make on YouTube I think that video turned out to be better the one an academy sh shot right so i beat myself at that day and i was very very happy that i was able to talk in a very fluent manner i was able to express myself in a proper manner there was every now and then where i got stuck in my own mind <laughs> that i was able i was trying to say that improvise the ability to improvise is very very important but i was not able to express myself continuously and listen man as time goes on that cut out that you saw it was uh, 39 minutes the actual recording went for more than an hour because there was a lot of retake mainly because on their part i did not have to do a lot of retake but uh, the girl was new and uh, we had to do a lot of retake and every now and then we took breaks and every now and then they had to give directions and every now and then there was sound from background that we had to do it again so it was a long time and you keep on speaking continuously no it is a different kind of stamina keep keeping on keep on like see i've been speaking for the last 10 or 15 minutes i'll get a little bit low in my uh, fluency and all because it requires a different kind of stamina too and people who speak a lot only they will understand for example teachers and all they know that if you speak a lot continuously it does take a lot of energy and you know uh, people who uh, teach for like 8 hours in coaching institutes they say that they cannot eat ice creams you know why because it will immediately hamper your throat and you will not be able to speak the next morning because your throat is that much utilized you cannot hurt it even a little bit so in a smaller scale speaking for even 1 hour is very very difficult and this is where the vlog things comes into the picture that i am used to speaking for 20 to 30 minutes at least but over there the pressure was high and uh, speaking continuously definitely uh, takes a lot of energy see if you are nervous now your stamina will decrease and this is something that i learned from the fight game itself that if you are very scared in a fight and you start breathing very fast 
then your stamina drops, right? So it was altogether a very, very good experience. And see, an academy took care of me a lot and they really treated me well. And they gave me a gift at the end of it. Uh, you must have seen it. And <laughs> that gift basically is filled with garbage, man. <laughs> see, I'm not going to lie. Uh, God of Joshi got Alexa when he went over there. And I think the cost of that gift would be like around that much price only like 3000 4000 but it was filled with chocolates and some of the chocolates were very good most of them were imported and the quality was very good but listen man I'm, i do not have that much interest in eating chocolates and they gave me an unacademy shirt and they gave me a large size like did you even take notice of my size i take small size shirts but anyways a gift is just a formality but unacademy man you please take care of the size of the shirt at least but it was okay, it was a good gesture. They really did take care of me in a very good manner. They sent cab for me, they booked a hotel room for me, a very good hotel, and it was very nice. Right. Everything was good, and the production of the video itself was very good. They have a good team over there, the production is very good, they have very good cameras and microphones. They're professionals, basically. And the video editing itself was very good. At the end of the video, they showed some of my clips of me doing martial arts and they did not even take those clips properly that if you are going to show a one minute clip and you are going to take 20 seconds out of it show the best part me spinning and throwing aerial kicks show those because that will be interesting but i think they just copy and pasted all of it i don't know maybe they are in a hurry they are putting out two videos every week on ctw team i understand but yes all those people were very very nice everything was nice and I was able to perform well and that was something that I was very very happy about that see I have a special interest for people sorry so for people dealing with pressurized situation when the lights are on when the spotlight is on when the room gets heated up how are you going to perform and are you going to give your best for example in an examination for something which you are preparing for the last six months and you have to put all of those efforts into one and a half hour examination are you going to perform or are you going to panic and crumble under the heat but if i'm performing in that manner in from when the spotlights are on in some other channel which is a very big platform i'm happy about that and uh, that actually like i would not be satisfied if i was very nervous and my voice was shaking over there and i was not able to show my confidence because that's something that i talk about most of the time the confidence aspect the personality how to talk how to interact with public the aspect of public speaking i've talked about lighthouse effect and visualization techniques and uh, how to eliminate butterflies in your stomach if I talk about these things and I crumble in under the pressure myself then most of the things that I'm saying is very very vague and it will be very wrong right and at the same time that is the reason listen I can be a very good speaker but at the same time if I do not practice actual speaking it will be very very wrong like uh, speaking in front of camera is very good but it does not give you the real pressure of people standing in front of you and people reacting to what you're saying so that is why i do a lot of these things which are completely unscripted for example this vlog itself is completely unscripted i'll turn on the camera and completely and just start speaking and i'll make a lot of mistakes while i'm speaking but that is the only way to improve the way you speak and that is why i make anchor podcasts that are that are also unscripted like i have zero idea before i start speaking of what i'm going to speak about but that is how the real one-to-one -one interaction and one-to- or one-to-many interactions are like. Things are not scripted. You have to reflect to whatever the situation is. The question that comes, you have to respond according to that. Speaking uh, out of a script is very, very easy. But that is not how real life interaction goes on. And that is my special interest improve your personality in real life showing a very good personality in camera and people are showing good pictures on instagram that is very very easy and i can do that too and i do that too but at the end of the day there's a real life outside that you have to deal with and that is how personality and that is where personality comes into the picture and that is what i talk about in most of my videos so in this channel see i have basically two channels i have three channels the third one is podcast 4712 in which i'm going to talk about martial arts i think i'm going to change its name to something like martial arts and i'm going to talk to a lot of people bring people on on podcasts but basically the other channel talk 4712 is for people preparing for competitive examinations 
and cracking those examinations right i guide those people according to the strategy and all those things you need to know about the examination so that is a place uh, that is very very essential for you before you get a job this channel ashish ranjan here i talk about personality and this podcast itself is going to help you a lot into building a pers- personal a very good personality and very good speaking skill a huge part of personality is a very good spoken skills or you speaking english very well because that shows smartness see good or bad that is the way things are and if you are able to speak very well definitely you will have a very pleasing personality and you listening to my podcast itself helps you a lot to increase your speaking skill because listening is a very important part into developing a very good speaking skill right so this channel i talk about personality development a lot and i've made very few videos i've talked about spotlight effect and lighthouse effect which is a very very important video if you're talking to multiple people and uh, if you watch that video it's a very simple trick you go through that video in 5 minutes you will be able to not only understand but implement it from the next moment you talk to multiple people because that is something that sara ma'am taught me in dale carnegie program and here i'm going to talk about more things about confidence how to develop confidence how to develop a good personality i'm thinking of starting a series of videos on extrovert sorry introvert to extrovert i was an introvert and this is something something that i've become that people who saw me 10 years ago won't even be able to believe that i'm the same person because now i'm speaking so much i have a you have a youtube channel and i wasn't able to even speak properly even 5 or 6 years ago even in my second year of college i used to speak very low because i had a co- uh, issue of under confidence see i'm a skinny guy not very good looking <laughs> now i'm a little bit good looking but i should not say that myself but anyways but i'm not a very good looking person see you you have seen very beautiful people right let's not get much into it but still i believe that confidence does not come from good looks and all the good looks are waste if you do not have confidence and in this topic i'm going to talk about those topics and please comment it down below what are the things that you want me to talk about i'm definitely going to start a series introvert to extrovert where i'm going to show you the steps that i incorporated in my life which changed me and made me very very confident basically it starts from you finding out what you really want to do and that happens with you sitting alone and thinking about what are you now and what you want to become so i'm going to talk about those things the second step comes and the third step comes and definitely there's a plan and strategy i did not become an extrovert from an introvert sorry introvert all of a sudden i definitely did something right and those are the things that i'm going to talk about now i'm going to end this vlog over here comment it down below in the topics that you want me to talk about comment it down below if you like this vlog comment it down below if you hated this vlog i take all the critics very seriously because i know that i have a lot of flaws in my games and without that no man exists i'm definitely going to work on that if you just suggest what i need to work on i'll be very very happy and thankful if you tell me what are my flaws i i'm sure and some of the flaws i see in myself right now that i sometimes get tongue twisted i'm working on that and sometimes i say some words a lot and i'm working on that but definitely speaking is a art that i want to perfect as much as it can be i'll see all of you in the next one till then bye